of all, this reminds me of Japan. Yeah. Oh, that's the Japanese pond. There, look! Oh, look! It's called koi fish. We are on the beach in Puerto Vallarta now. Oh my god, look there! Beautiful, beautiful. Japanese green tea, tuna roll, shrimp tempura, lobster tempura. Lobster hits the spot. Mm. And shrimp tempura, also good. Mm. Yum. I want to share with you a little gift that we got. It's like a volcano that erupted. Mikado. Hi everyone, we are in Puerto Vallarta! Yeah. More precisely, Marina Vallarta. So, there's a big hotel here, we're in the hotel zone. And it's so wonderful yeah. here, it's so beautiful. So we are going to have dinner yeah. at a Japanese restaurant called Mikado. We just moved here not long ago to Puerto Vallarta greater area and we are loving it. It's so beautiful here, it's nice and um, we can't wait to tell you all about the new restaurant that we're going to check out. Okay, so let's go! Yeah! Let's go! Hola! Hola! Uh, Mikado Restaurant! Oh, over there. If you like, you can go inside. There's yeah. no entrance around. If you like, you okay. know the Because the beach is there. Oh, yes. Okay, Absolutely. perfect. Yes. Thank you. Enjoy the restaurant Mikado, okay? See yeah. you soon. Yes, <laughs> thank you. I can't see the new beach. Mm, let's go check it out. Wow, look how beautiful it's here. Wow. So this is Marriott Hotel. Puerto Vallarta. Look at this. Wow, very nice. Yeah. This is the best place yeah. ever. Yeah, look, look at the flowers. Look, they're so beautiful. This is like a real resort. Let's go, Mama. Looks very beautiful. Come very on. beautiful. Actually, it's the first time for me to be at Marriott, which is a resort by the ocean. Usually, we used to see them just inside the cities, you know, like city hotel, downtown hotel. But this is a resort style Marriott. So listen to the lounge music. Wow, the grounds are beautiful. Yeah. Very beautiful landscaping. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here we come to the pool area. Yeah, and look at the pool. It's pretty big. Wow, beach. The beach again. We are on the beach. In Puerto Vallarta now. And feel the breeze. I'm feeling the breeze, the ocean breeze. It feels so good. Oh my god, look there. Look at that red sun. The sun is setting. Another gorgeous sunset. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look at this nice, nice beach. Okay, guys, there's the sun. It's almost gone. In Sunset in Puerto Vallarta. They have a very nice beach here. Also, look at the width. It's long, it's wide, and it's well maintained. Okay, guys, so you see where the long uh, chairs are with the umbrellas? 
on both sides of me. So on this side as well, they even have um, palapas, which is like straw, straw thatch umbrellas. So these are all property of the hotel of Marriott. So obviously, only guests staying at the hotel can lay on those chairs. Anything outside this in the fence, this is public beach. So now anybody who wants to swim on the beach of um, uh, of Marriott Hotel, so can come and swim here. I mean, the beach doesn't belong to the hotel because the beach is public, but the hotels, big hotels, they take part of the beach as uh, and use it as their property. And so that's why they have like a little divider that for their guests, you swim, you stay here, but for anybody else, you can use this part of the beach. And over there, you see that's the coastline, that's, that's Vallarta, Vallarta proper uh, and downtown and all the different areas of Vallarta, like, you know, Romantic Zone and Cinco de Diciembre and Conchas Chinas all the way down, it goes to the south, that's Vallarta. And we are in Marina Vallarta area which is in the north of uh, the city of Vallarta, Puerto Vallarta. So yeah, so that's, that's the beach of Vallarta to you. It's exciting because uh, we like this area a lot. We, we came here first time in, in February and we love this. Oh, this is so nice. Look, your little couch here. You can take a little nap. It's like a day bed with some curtains. Oh, this is nice. I love it. This is wonderful. Look, Prince Eric, look at the pool. Beautiful pool. Uh -huh. Just walking along the beach towards the restaurant, which is uh, on the grounds of the hotel, a Japanese restaurant called Mikado. this way yeah okay uh, go this way ah uh, no we have to go that way why because the restaurant is over there lobby oh my very spacious wow so grand everything is made of marble granite and uh oh mikado is right here up inside it says mikado right in front this is where we're going oh yeah uh-huh this reminds me of uh, the hotels on the strip in Las Vegas. 
very similar layout and just the interior very similar I feel like I'm in Las Vegas uh-huh yeah it's like home it's like home Las Vegas wow wow and look at this sushi and teppanyaki Mikado oh nice it's all wood, yes! Yeah, it's beautiful. This reminds me of Japan here. Yeah, the wooden, a lot of uh, use of lots of wood uh, and stones and little rivers. And it's a pond. Uh, we probably will see some koi fish too. Alright, <laughs> Vincent, let's go! tables for teppanyaki are taken so we're taking the regular table teppanyaki where they do you know special show the chef cooks right in front of you and does different tricks and um, you know little spectacle uh, so we are just going to eat our sushi yeah sushi yeah uh -huh. Uh -huh. Me too. looks beautiful here I love it I love the Indians. Okay. okay. Take a little walk to look at the restaurant. Wow, it's it's gorgeous looking. My goodness, I love the decor. Look at the kimono here. It takes me back to Tokyo times when we were there. Mm -hmm. Wow, there you go. That's the Japanese pond. Do you see any koi fish? Any, any turtle? Uh, no. Let's no. go check over there. Yeah. Okay. Mm, very nice layout. This is actually koi fish. See? Only it's there. Look. Oh. Look. It's called koi fish. Oh. Or it's actually catfish. It looks like a unicorn. Yeah. But and I didn't do it. Koi fish is, is a fish of luck. It's a symbol of luck for wow. Japanese people. There's so many of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, koi fish. Mm hmm. Mm. It's wow. beautiful. It's nice. Do we have another one? Mm. Look here. Ah, this is our sushi station right here. That's how they make sushi here. So it's a bar. You can sit at a bar. You can take a regular table. Or you can have a third option, which is over there. It's like teppanyaki uh, option. Like right now, there's a group over there. They're sitting and the chef is cooking for them. He's doing all kinds of fun stuff while cooking with playing with fire, all those things. <laughs> I love that teppanyaki option. It's so much fun because you just um, enjoy the spectacle. They're doing fun stuff. Yeah, this restaurant looks so pretty. Uh, look at the look at the interior. Yeah, it looks very very chic. Oh boy, uh, this is gonna be a nice Very traditional meal. look, but Mommy? so tastefully Mommy? done. We're gonna uh -huh. feed the koi fish. Yes, to be slowly by slowly, okay? Slowly, slowly. Ah. What, what, are, what are they eating? It's a special food for the pod. Oh, they're, they're coming now. They're coming now. They're ah. hungry. Yes, they are. How old are they? I don't know. They might be a couple of months. So when we had them, they were small. So small. So they grow fast. They grow fast. Ah. But it's funny. So when the restaurant shut down, they go to sleep quickly. And you have the noise, they come out. And I see some waiter before. Uh -huh. He was making a noise. 
And they were coming out. It was very, it was very funny the way the monkey um, was calling them. And they were coming out. So they can hear very well through that I water. Think they can mm -hmm. hear the sound of the voice. So, so this water goes under like how yes, far? Oh wow. Uh -huh. That's an interesting layout. That's very okay. unique. A little Really? You 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 designed the layout of this. Mommy, wow, mommy. That's very unique. Oh, I like how you because did it. Because the kids it's love that, you know. It's a nice attraction for the restaurants. Absolutely. And we are used to them, and they are used to us. But it's also it shows a lot about like Japanese culture yes. because it's so symbolic. It, it is symbolic. Yeah. So that's so before we didn't have any fish or anything. Before uh -huh. that, it was just a pound of water. But uh -huh. the fish gives them. It gives us life. You know? Yeah. The kids. Some of the kids, they know where to the food, so they know where how to give them the food. So mm. these are nurses for years. Uh -huh. so nice. Wow, you did a, you did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> so just now we spoke with a, a lady who apparently uh, said she designed this whole uh, theme here for this restaurant, like the whole interior design, including this little pond with the idea of putting the koi fish in them in the ponds so she was so proud of saying that because it's really a unique idea and it's beautiful and uh, it, it's a very big attraction for the restaurant and the kids love coming here too because we have a chance to feed the fish you know so that's unique it's very beautiful all right are we ready to eat now let's go and they're going to be waiting. Okay. Uh-huh. Thank you. Green tea also. Uh-huh. Matcha green tea. Matcha green tea. Okay. Uh, sushi makis. Okay. Here, our senator, red dragon, a little bit French and pura, avocado, fresh tuna and chop with shirashi and tobiko. Uh-huh. It's really good uh, roll. Uh -huh. good roll in combination this momo sake. Momo sake. A little bit of smoked salmon, uh -huh. fresh tuna, cucumber, and the salmon is a uh, flambe roll. Uh -huh. Flambe roll with a uh, micro sauce on top. Yeah, we'll try momo sake. Momo sake uh -huh. okay. And then we'll try dragon. Yeah, red dragon. Okay. Ah, nice. Japanese green tea. Love it, love it, love it. Cucumber, mm -hmm. smoked cucumber on top with the maple. You know, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. it's, sweet, it's sweet and sour. We have red dragon, shrimp chimpura, avocado, mm -hmm. fresh tuna and tobiko. Mm -hmm. Use the sriracha, but this is case in the side. Yep. And kobushi lobster. Oh, lobster tempura. This is lobster. Yep. Uh -huh. Lobster tempura with tamarind sauce, a little bit green onions. Green cheese, cucumber, and avocado. Ah, oh, okay. Enjoy. That's good. Thank you. You're Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> Smells good. Presentation is also very good. Different. All right. So we're gonna try our rolls. So this one is spicy tuna, tuna roll. This one is shrimp tempura and this one is lobster tempura so let's find out Mommy. yeah wow my son loves it already mm -hmm. Spicy. Mm, i love it mm. tuna mm, tastes very good mm. Let's see, lobster. Mm. 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 Lobster hits the spot. Mm. Mm. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite of this three is lobster and then shrimp. Mm -hmm. Mm. Delicious. For mm. the maybe fried rice. Oh, yeah. 
That would be interesting. Uh huh. Yeah, the fried rice. We use a little bit garlic, uh -huh. soya, salt, uh -huh. egg with vegetables like zucchini, onions, and carrots. Wow. Just in case you want some protein, we we can make uh, like shrimp, chicken, oh, beef, or meat. Sweet. Sweeter? Oh, okay, we'll get you some fried rice. How about that? What? Fried rice. So we, we ordered extra rolls, one with salmon and the other one with uh, eel. We also ordered rice, fried rice. Uh, from the description, it sounded like it has a lot more things in it than the usual fried rice as we know. Like, for example, vegetables, they have uh, not just peas and carrots but they also have squash and they, this one we got like a mixed protein uh, fried rice chicken shrimp and beef together so and then he told me some other things that are, that are in there so it sounds like it's, it's going to be a very delicious fried rice here's our fried rice let's see Nice, it's rich. Very nice. It tastes like a real Japanese version. Yeah. We're used to like eating Chinese, Thai, and each one of them has got their own flavor. Mm, this one you can tell it's Japanese. It's got a distinct taste of the soy sauce. Mm. It's good. Okay, so here we have our new rolls that we just ordered. One is a salmon roll and the other one is a, an eel roll. Well, let's see, that's salmon. Mm. I personally love salmon more than anything. Somehow here I don't see much salmon though. It's a very, very teeny piece of salmon inside. Deep fried roll. Normally we don't order deep fried rolls, but this doesn't look very greasy to me. So I'm pleasantly surprised with the deep fried roll. It tastes good, but I don't taste much of salmon in it though. So now let's try eel roll. Mm. Wow, this one is really good. I would say it's even better than the salmon roll here. Mm. I'm not an eel lover, but this tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Between these two, two deep fried rolls, eel roll wins. I want to share with you a little, little gift that we got from Mikado restaurant. It's a local specialty fried ice cream. They were so kind to treat us to this ice cream here. It looks so cute. Try. Let's see. Oh, look at it. Bursting through the shell. It's like a volcano that erupted. Mm. Mm. Wow. wow, I like it. I actually never take like fried ice cream dessert. It's really good, actually. It's, it's really nice. It's got this crispy, crispy taste to it. Mm -hmm. Wow, can I taste it too? Mm -hmm. mm. Yummy. Recommend, highly recommend. Yeah, it's good. Let's go. Yeah. It's a, we, are, we are on a bridge. Like a bridge. Look at this nice lighting. The stairs. Can you see the stairs are lit up? Yeah. And look, that's the restaurant right there. So this has been such a wonderful, wonderful experience and I highly, highly recommend this restaurant, guys. Whenever you find yourself in Puerto Vallarta, don't hesitate to come and visit Mikado, Japanese restaurant, and you will not regret it. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel. 
and I'll see you in my next video.